Okay, the MJX Bugs 5W drone. The stock camera will give you between 150 and 250 meters FPV, first person video, which is not bad, but I wanted to try and increase it. So I added the two cloverleaf antennas and that gave me up to 650 meters on a good day. It does vary between 300, 400, the most I've had is 650. But I thought to myself, can I increase that range? How can I adapt those antennas to give me more? Well, how does that antenna work? The camera produces the radio waves which come down the antenna into this clover head. And this distributes the radio waves into a ball, an expanding ball, which eventually picks up on your mobile phone. So once this is flying in the air, the radio waves are expanded down, up, left and right. The, one, the radio wave which comes down go into your phone. But I thought, what about all those radio waves going up into the sky? They're wasted. If I could divert the up, upwards radio waves downwards, then would that double the FPV? So how do you divert radio waves? What about if you had a piece, a flat plate of metal above the clover head, would that then bounce off the radio waves to go down? So how do we do that? Well, a sheet piece of metal would be too heavy, too cumbersome. So how do you reflect it? Well, I come up with this idea silver foil baking cases made of aluminium you get about 40 of those for one pound so that's the principle absolutely perfect shape all we would need to do is make a hole feed the antenna through and that's what I'm thinking now would that work? The radio waves which now go up are being reflected back down. Let's give it a go. Okay, it's probably better to take the camera off. It's less fiddly. So, clockwise, anti-clockwise turn. And then towards the back of the drone, the multi-plug has a little flap. Get your fingernail behind there. camera pops off. Okay. Now, obviously I can't make up too big a hole to get that over and it takes too long to fit these when you're fitting the, the antenna to the camera so it's easy enough just to mark the centre pair of scissors now that should easily fit over there go to the middle like that but what's going to stop it once it's flying from that going up and down what I've come up with these they're, they're hair bands effectively rubber bands elastic bands 
about as big as your finger. Very stretchy. Now wind that. Keep twisting it round. Ten or twelve times, depending on the size of the band, until it's tight. And we can get our reflector to the middle. Bit of cellar tape on it. Slightly overlap it so it pinches tight. Put the cup up to the head of the clover and then push that rubber band up the shaft and that should stop it blowing up. Let's do it again to the other one. There you go. That's got to work, surely. Let's fit it back to the drone. So you get the mold plug in the right way. It's a bit trickier now because I've got these flapping about. Okay. In. clockwise to lock now surely 
that must divert the upwards radio waves bouncing back down onto your phone hopefully doubling the signal in case you're wondering I made these leg extensions out of wooden dowels and I just put a self tapping screw in the important thing is make sure the length of those four dowels are exactly the same otherwise the drone will, might sit at an angle and that will affect the gyroscopes so that must be absolutely horizontal let's give it a go